what's up everybody joshua casper back at you with plugin boutique and today we're going to be patching a nice bell style pluck inside of the brand new synth by ds audio called diversion this is it on the screen very powerful very unique lots of routing lots of possibilities wavetable fm synthesis just too much to even talk about in one video so what we're going to do is go ahead and patch this lead sound that i made inside of diversion And along the way, I'm going to show you how to do routing, how to do some FM synthesis, and, you know, make this patch using some of the multi-staged envelopes, some of the regular envelopes, and, you know, other things along the way, things that are essential to this plugin, you're going to learn in this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and jump on that channel and delete the plugin so we can start again. Here it is. Drop it back on there. This is the base patch. So not too pleasant, not too great. But what we can do is come right in here to this first oscillator and come down to wavetables and choose tones bell, double click. And we're well on our way to success. So I've got a wavetable loaded here, but we can have up to four different oscillators going at any one time, which obviously lends itself to some really nice, really complex, really character driven sounds. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to leave this second one deactivated for the patch but i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for now come in here inside a built-in just gonna go to the basic sign and i'm gonna drop it down four octaves and i'm gonna push it up seven notes so we're gonna get a nice harmonic fifth out of that so you can right now if you hear on your speakers or in your headphones you can actually hear that sub i don't want that i just want to use this oscillator for the frequency modulation and just to add a little bit of wobbliness to it. So the first thing I can do is just go ahead and set up that. So I'm gonna use envelope one. I wanna modulate the frequency modulation send control right here. So I can do that a number of different ways, but for right now, I'm just gonna right click it, add modulation, envelope one, and I need to turn on the envelope to be able to use the envelope's information. And go ahead and turn up that decay, turn down the sustain. And if I go ahead and play it now, we're still not getting anything. And that's because I haven't added the modulation amount here. And I can do that by right clicking inside of a PC and pulling up, or you can just do add the amount right down here too. Okay, so there's two different places to do it. So you can hear how it's modulating the frequency of you know, the tones bell wavetable here. But I wanna go ahead and turn off the sub. And you'll notice that we're still getting the modulation. Okay, it's still modulating, but we're just not getting that subby sound. If I come in and change the octave over here, for example, you'll see that it is affecting the sound, this particular oscillator. So I'm gonna leave it, leave it down here because I want it to be slow. I want the oscillation to be slow and you know you can hear it. Rather than changing the pitch, I want it to more sound like a fluctuation. All right, so that's a good place to start. That's obviously too much. We're getting into some crazy sound effects there. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is come into the amp envelope and adjust how this thing sounds. So this is like the main output here. This is the ADSR that really shapes the sound. So again, I'm gonna turn the decay up. Or, you know, let's, let's leave the sustain up. Turn it up like that. Very cool. Let's turn the FM down just a little bit. So now it's just giving that a little bit of character and we're well on our way to success already. So right now I want to go ahead and do a couple of more things here. But first I want to point out that you've got two different buses down here. And this is pretty cool because, you know, I'm not sure too many synths have buses inside of them because we still have our effects inserts and things like that. If we come down here to the effects page, you know, I've got effects on each one of the buses and then my master effects too. So this is kind of unique, I think. Um, just trying to recall another synth that has two buses inside of it like this on top of everything else. And I can't really think of one, but each bus has its own filter it's a own distortion and lo-fi effects it's got level and panning and you can actually even send this bus into this bus for extra further affecting now not only that but you can send any one of the oscillators to any one of the buses too right here with the bus send so over here on the left is going to be bus one we can mix them we can send them to both if we wanted to or we can send it over to the bus two 
We could turn the buses on or off right here. Lots of routing control, okay? Then we can add those effects to the bus, like I was showing you before, then adding effects to the tail end of the chain. So you can get some really complex sounds. We're not gonna do that because I'm aiming for this belly sound and we're almost there anyway. Each, each one of the oscillators also has its kind of normal things and a number of effects under here as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tweak this out. So I actually kind of like that. I didn't have that in the initial patch, but that's there. And you can switch through different ones down here by just clicking. All right, so each one of the oscillators has that as well. We also have ring modulation. We also have phase. All right, we can actually edit these wavetables by jumping in here. Another very cool thing, we can load presets from here as well. Uh, we can change different parameters for each one of the wavetables. We can actually come in here and draw too. I'm not gonna do that again because I already like the sound, but knowing that it's a possibility inside of diversion is good to know. We have a filtering system here. We can turn it on or turn it off. Right clicking any of these parameters actually shows you the possibilities if you don't just wanna click and cycle through. Right click, boom, choose whatever you want. All right, we got oversampling options up here. We've got a transposition, uh, global transposition, detune, pitch bend, glide amount. Poly, retrigger, legato, uh, D click, how many keys you can press at any given time, unison, kind of the main stuff up here. We can turn effects on or off, the arpeggio, arpeggiator on or off, or gating on and off uh, right here quickly if we don't want to actually come in and do it right here. So if I want to turn on the gate, I turn it on up here. You'll see this as gate on in here. If I click it, it turns it off down there as too. So this is like a trans gate, an arpeggiator. I'm going to use this at the tail end of the tutorial just to show you. Uh, and of course the effects down here, which we can turn on or turn off. So let's jump back into the modulation. And what I wanna do is add a little bit of a transient or attack transient to the sound using this next oscillator. So uh, come over here, turn it on, come in here and choose something. I think again, I'm gonna jump into wavetables and let's choose pulse metallic. All right, so I want that metallic sound just to happen really quickly. And the way I'm going to accomplish that is using one of these multi-stage envelopes over here. And what a multi-stage envelope is, if you didn't know, it's kind of the rage right now. All since coming out after, you know, the beginning of this year are gonna have this because it's just so much more flexible than your standard ADSR because you can just come in and start adding points. And inside of Diversion, you do that by right-clicking. So now we got attack, sustain, released, attack again. You know what I'm saying? We can curve it by clicking and dragging like here and really make some interesting styles. And I just want, I'm using it. I'm gonna actually use a simple one, but I just wanted to show you because uh, these things are really awesome and they're much better than the ADSR. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And again, we need to route the filter here. So I'm gonna right click, add modulation, MSEG one. And again, let's do something like this. This is just a C. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that oscillator just so we can focus right here for a second. We gotta turn on the filter. I'm gonna go high pass. So let's take that release time and bring it way in. All right, something like that. Let's try something like that. And let's go ahead and add that first filter right back in. All right, so that's that. I wanna go ahead and turn that down a little bit using the level right here. So it's just adding a little bit of attack transient there to the sound. And that's what I'm looking for. So the last thing I wanna do, or actually the next thing I wanna do is come into the effects and just come here to the last one, right click and let's add reverb. Really great sound of reverb right out of the box. I only had to turn down the mix a little bit. Great, let's come right here and add delay. 
We can load a preset by clicking load and let's just do ping pong. There you go, filtering it out, making it nice and mellow and dramatic, perfect. And that's pretty much it. Let's listen to it in the context of the track and see if it's working. I'm digging it. The last thing I wanted to do is just turn on the ARP just to show you um, that you can get some really interesting sounds here as well. I just use it for a little bit. It adds an extra note to some of the uh, notes inside of my MIDI clip to give it a little bit more movement. And to do that, we got to come in here and just choose something like lead one. So you see how it's giving it that extra note I Can turn it down. And if we wanted to come in here to bus one, turn it on, and let's just do a low pass and a log low pass one. And there we go, we're cooking with power. That's how to get started with diversion. It's a very very complex, very powerful synthesizer. I highly suggest checking it out. There'll be links in the video description. I've had a lot of fun checking it out and making this particular patch for this particular project it was a pleasure and I think you'll like it too. So I'm Joshua Casper here for Plug and Boutique. I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.